Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes you will like to have an obstacle in your game, either just to make it harder or sometimes to build walls and things out of them. So I'm going to show you how to build an obstacle and something you can do with it. So I've got a new um, sprite and I've got a new object. So I'm going to put my obstacle object in the room. So there's room and there's my obstacle. But at the moment, everything will just pass through it because I haven't told it to do anything other than that. So I'm actually going to attach this to the obstacle object and I'm going to say add event collision with the player object. So when it collides with the player object, here's what's going to happen. It is going to, I'm using this one here, bounce. So I put in the bounce, it applies to the other, so it doesn't bounce when it gets hit, the other thing bounces. And you can either have it either precisely or not precisely. I like a bit of kind of wiggle room in games where it feels a bit organic, so I'm going to leave it like that. So the other thing's going to bounce. I click OK, and now I'm going to run this level. OK, so there's my obstacle. I'm going to go up to it, and I'm going to try and run into it. And watch what's going to happen. I bounce off. See that kind of bounce back? That's what's going on there. So that's an obstacle, and I could build a whole wall and so forth out of those if I need to. But as you can see, my object is bouncing right off that like I was throwing peanuts at my cousin Joey. So hopefully that's useful to you.